the FBI search at Mar-a-Lago. But you've dealt with classified information as former Secretary of State, as a senator. If the Justice Department decides that former President Donald Trump actually committed a crime, do you think he should be treated like any other citizen? I really believe that at the end of the day, no one is above the law and no one uh, should be uh, escaping accountability if indeed the facts and the evidence point to them having uh, done something that anyone else in our country would be investigated for and maybe even charged. So it sounds like you're saying that he should be treated like he were he would if he was Donald J. Trump, somebody who was a, a civilian, an average citizen, not a former president or potential candidate. I do, because, I mean, he's he's not the president. It's interesting. They're being kind of cautious because I think they which is surprising because we're so, I'm so used to Democrats pushing the pedal to the metal and speaking with very little caution. But I think that they're afraid of setting him up as too much of a martyr and overselling what they're going to find. Reminds um, me of uh, when when Jamie Raskin was asked if it was going to blow. What was it like? Blow the roof off? Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah. January 6th hearings. And, and the problem here, it's like, you know, with both Hillary and Trump, they're not like when she talks about, you know, uh, no one's above the law. Uh, n- neither of them will, will, will ever be held to account for their worst right. crimes. I mean, Trump committed many crimes, but he's not going to be actually held accountable for those. He'll only be held accountable when he goes after another faction of the ruling class like he did on January 6th or like when he did with his previous impeachment, which was about him trying to get Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden. When you go when you threaten the other faction of the ruling class, that is a crime. When you right. threaten the world, that's normal. And both Hillary and Trump did plenty of that. I mean, speak. she's speaking on the anniversary of 9-11 on, on 9-11 in, Sept- in 2012. The U.S. ambassador to Libya was killed. Uh, along with three other Americans. Uh, and that's because they, at the time, were in Libya helping to coordinate the transfer of weapons from Gaddafi's looted stockpile and then taking the weapons from that and moving them to Syria to arm sectarian death squads there. But no one will ever be held to account for that. No one will ever even be asked about it.